Fusion shard pulls and gem giveaways. We got it all today. Let's go. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? I am going to be coming in here to pull some shards for our lovely Fragment Fusion that is starting today. Um, let's go ahead and... Wait, I already got five fragments for her? What did I do to get five fragments? I'm not sure. Um, let's come in here and uh, convert some Wormbane. Okay. That seems like the worst possible, right? That seems like the worst possible. I mean, I wish, actually, this was on the free-to-play. This is exactly what I want to happen on the free-to-play. I'll probably get a bunch of fragments there. But, uh, yeah. So, we... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um, let's just start converting here. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Um, why do I have so much... Oh, wait, that's another person. Okay. Okay. Like, can I just keep going here? No. Okay, okay. Wait, two days and 14 hours? Is that the normal cooldown? Should I just exchange all of these right now? Yes. Okay, I think I'm going to go do that. I don't think I... Actually, it might benefit you to know what champions I'm taking fragments off of. Um, I would not take fragments off of anyone who has a lot of fragments. Because there's a chance that you will still get those champions. Like, if it's close. Like, you know, 70, 80, 90, something like that. Well, Crackarth is uh, Doom Tower, right? So we can't do that. Timmet, Jetney, Dilesia, Zenogre, Nari, Dur, Ugir. I mean, look at all these I have extra fragments on. Then Islin, Supreme Alhane. Uh, in this case, I wish that I had done a little bit more. You know? Wait, why is Vlad still there? All of these people are still there? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> he was just lingering. Um, I wonder if you can buy these rares from the 3v3 shop. I don't think so. Because there's no little leafy thing. Why is Hoskarl still there? That's weird. So... Anyway, a little bit distracted here at the beginning of the video, but I have 46 chests. How many did you get? Is that a lot? Is that a little? I don't actually know, so give me some kind of frame of reference if you have a second. I'm over here clicking replay on the free-to-play account because, man, I just, like, they don't give you multi-battles and RSL is down still, right? All right, so um, in my uh, February freeze, my goal is to show you everything I'm buying and to try to keep my budget reasonable. For me, reasonable for me. I know it's not going to be reasonable for everyone. So based on that, the best offer in the shop is this one that's about to run out. So you're not going to have the ability to get that one. So that means I'm pulling voids today. I didn't really want to pull anything today, if I'm being honest, but... Obviously, I'm going to because I want to get the fusion. The easiest way to do this is to pull on the shard events. And in order to do that, you need to save your shards and uh, be able to pull them, okay, uh, for the fusion. So we're going to do that today. We're going to do 30, I think we need to do 31 voids. We're not going overboard. Use your shards and figure out how many points you want to get. That's the best way to, like, stick to your guns, okay? So, I want to get up here to the 3620. 
I like the XP barrels. They're very useful for me making content. It's a quick way to level somebody up. Of course, I'd love to get up in here into the books. We have a, a third Lego book instead of two Mythic books. That's interesting. But also, I don't need to do that. I do not need to do that today. Um, if we come in here and we look at the progressive chance, most of you guys are going to pull for Archer, as you should. The rest of these are mediocre champions. Sorry, God be. <laughs> Lady Kimmy is not top anymore, okay? And you have to pick one of these. Neither of them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like targeting them but claude is good for early game clan boss and progression uh, you can see me use him on the free to play um all of these should be the same uh for sacreds and primals and voids i'm torn i don't know if i want to pull for him i don't have him so i'll put him in there but i don't know what i would use him for if i got him so now before i jump in here let me tell you how to win those gems okay you need to choose or you get to choose any champion in raid shadow legends and you get to put them into another setting so for me i would choose leorius the proud in wheel of time i think that would be amazing so who would you choose and also include your um player id number i'm committed to picking at least one at least one winner but if there are like answers that i love i'm happy to pick more than one winner so be creative tell me who you would pick and what setting you would put them in and uh let's pull oh i need space let me make some space, and then let's pull our 30 Void Shards. All right, that was easy. I just got rid of all the commons and uncommons from, you know, pulling daily missions and whatnot. Let's drink some coffee. Let's pull some shards. I am super pumped about this today, but very low expectations. So let's... Are we have to spoiler points today? I don't think so. The spoiler points is only for the tournaments, right? Polarium, here's your uh, weekly reminder to get rid of the spoiler points. I fully expect us to do three 10 pulls of, like, all rares and an epic or something. But if we get a Lego, then that's great, okay? Um, if it's Togger in the Conjoined, okay, cool. We'll have a conversation about him. We can have a conversation about him if you guys want to anyway. Maybe we'll do that. There's Ethel in the Golden. He's mediocre. I don't know. I, I don't... I don't value him that much. It seemed like people were undervaluing the Bellower pull on the free-to-play account, uh, as well as the other two. And, man, I just, that's shocking to me. Bellower is ridiculous. He is so good. Oh, you, you might be asking yourself, well, what are you running on your free-to-play account right now? I am running Minotaur. I'm running Minotaur. All right, so we got nothing. We got actual nothing. Okay, we're going to pull our single one and then double check that I did some math correctly. Uh, Reliquary Tender. I would actually love Reliquary Tender on the free-to-play. Most free-to-play accounts, I, I don't like her, but I'm missing uh, a cleanser. And the revive would be nice as well. Okay, let's go check the points. And then let's come in here. And see what we need to do. Okay, I was cracked. All right, good. Okay, well, we're awake this morning. That's lovely. All right, so that's going to make our fusion way, way easier. We got those 15 points there. Uh, let's take a quick, um, like, peek at my plan for this fusion. And then, um, so let me get the fusion calendar on the screen, basically uh let's see i did get fatalis the other day in case you wanted to know that uh, i did a video on that and then we have the uh white queen and she has 20 fragments already which is sweet all right so as you can see here with the fragment event calendar what i will probably skip is hmm i will probably skip i thought there was a an awkward dungeon divers 
Like, right now, it's going to be Fire Knight and Dungeon Divers. That's going to be easy. We'll just run a bunch of Fire Knight. That'll go into the Champion Training and the Spider Tournament. All of that's fine. I might skip the Dungeon Divers in the middle. But maybe I just won't skip any events. Like, I think I have the resources to do all of the events. We'll see what event is Champion Chase. But I like pulling for Champion Chase. Um... The Hero's Path down there, that is Dungeon Divers and Champion Training again. Um, but I like I like doing those things. So, um, maybe the Ice Golem at the end? I don't know. I think that if you have the resources with this new uh, Fragment Chest system, I don't know, what, what is it called? Um, I think we should be going for extra Fragments if we can. So I think what I will do is I will just pull and go for all of the events if possible. And if I miss out on one or two, then it's fine, you know. But if I can, I would like to complete all of them and get as many fragments as I can. That'll equal more chess. But if I was going to skip something, I think I would skip that Dungeon Divers in the middle. Or one of the Artifact Enhancements. There are three Artifact Enhancements. You know, that's a lot of silver. I don't necessarily have a, a, a enough things that I would want to, you know, pull, roll up artifacts for all three of those. Okay. So just as a reminder, um, let's um, put in the comments below your favorite raid character or whoever you want to choose. What character do you want to see in what setting? Let me know and uh, we'll get you some gems. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.